Hey folks, welcome back to another video of Trailhead Explanations. In this video, we are going to cover unit Get Started with Apex from the module Apex Basics and Database. This is the very first unit of this module. So what basically we are going to cover up here is we are going to create an Apex class uh, by the name string edit test and a method generate string array. Both will be in public scope and the return type of this method is list of string. We will be also passing a parameter to this method of type integer based on this value provided into the method, uh, our output will be decided. So if I pass input three uh, in the method, the output will be such as test zero, test one, test two. This is a list of string. So uh, again, if I pass output four, so output will, uh, input four, the output will be test zero, test one, test two, till test three. So the output is basically one less than the input passed into the method. So this is the basic gist of this uh, challenge. Now let's quickly jump onto our implementation and launch our Trailhead Playground, which I've already done here and selecting developer console from this uh, dropdown. I am going to create a new Apex class over here, select file new Apex class. Now uh, I'm going to copy this name from the challenge itself, which is string edit test and paste it in the name text area. Make sure you avoid any spaces after the test. So this has created a class uh, in public scope. Now the next, I have to create a method with public scope. So public static, the return type has to be a list of string. So I'm going to pass a string here. Uh, and the name of the uh, method, I'm going to copy it from the challenge again, generate string array and paste it in a code. Now next we have to pass a parameter in this uh, method. So it is supposed to be of integer as mentioned in our challenge and the name I'm going to give it as n. Now I'm going to create a for loop. So I'll start with integer i is equal to zero till i less than n. n is the parameter or input value that I am passing into this method and i plus plus. Now next I'm going to uh, create a list before moving on further with the logic. So list will be of type string as this is the return type specified for this challenge. And the name I'm going to give here is uh, test or results. So results is equals to new list of type again string. And I'm going to use this uh, list to store the value inside it. So here I'm going to pass a test as static value. And I'll also give some space after this as in our challenge, it has been mentioned over here that test, uh, there is some space after test and then the, uh, uh, this numerical value has been placed. So I'm going to do likewise. So space I have given here, and then I'm going to concatenate it with the value i. Simply I'm going to return this uh, list after the for loop. So this is the simple uh, uh, class that we have to implement or code we have to implement for this. I'm going to save it. There are many errors, okay. Okay, I'm so sorry, results.add, it has to be like this. Now save it, it should uh, remove all the errors. And integer, there was some type of mistake. Now it has removed all the errors and this is the basic code that we have to implement for this challenge. So I'm going to go back to my, uh, before checking this challenge, let's just quickly implement it. Like if I just copy this class name and follow this method. And in this, I'm going to pass attribute or value, integer value three. I'm going to execute this open logs. And before that, I'll just simply play it place a uh, system dot debug here so that we can see if it is printing the correct output. I'm going to copy this and paste it over here. Terminate it, save. Now I'm going to execute this and see if it is giving us the expected output. 
So there you go. It has given the exact same output that was mentioned in our challenge in test zero, test one, and test two. Now I'm going to simply go back to my uh, challenge and check if all the test cases are passed. Let's just wait for it to give out the results. There you go, this unit has been completed. In the next video, we are going to cover the further, all the videos of this module. Till then, take care, bye.